Hey folks, it's a laughing auditor here, and I'm in Cambridge, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm currently just across the road from the police station, and the fire station is right next to it. Um, but yeah, I'm in Cambridge for the day, and uh, I'm, I'm visiting a few places. I'm first stopping by this police station, and then I'm going to go and check out the job centre. Um, those of you that are familiar with uh, with the auditing community um, will know about PTTPs and visit at Cambridge Job Centre where he was violently and brutally assaulted of a member of their staff. I followed him out down the street and and had a right good go at him. Um, it was shocking. Uh, that was quite some time ago um, and I have been meaning to get through here just to stand in solidarity with him despite how much time has elapsed since, um, since that happened but I'm here, I'm in the town of Cambridge, I'm going to be floating about, checking out a few places and uh, and I will be putting that job centre through the mill. But first of all, the police station, that's where I've came to first, that's where I'll get a good feel for how how the police are, I suppose, how, how they're going to react to a man with a camera. So, we'll see how we get on, if you enjoy the video guys, please like it, feel free to share it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll certainly see if we get any last out of this lot. And, um, and yeah, we'll take it from there, but what I'll do is I'll cut, I'll cut the camera just while I get across, I'll have a look around and I'll pick it back up in a second, I'll see you shortly. So here we are around the back guys, um, it's a massive station, it's bigger than what I thought it was um, just from looking at it in Google Maps. Um, but yeah, it's a fair decent size. So I'm going to have a look around, um, it does have a car park at the back that looks like it's open to the public. Um, so I'm going to go in there and have a wee scout about. The weather isn't great today guys, there is a bit of wind um, I'm hoping it's not going to impact on the footage too much But we'll certainly see how we got on um, But yeah, we'll have a look around and we'll sort of see, see what the crack is uh, I'm not going to go in there, not yet anyway, I want to go up to this car park I don't know if it's open to the public But we'll certainly have a look I really want to get in there just because it will get me out of the wind if the wind does pick up um, but it's been a bit blistery this morning I am here nice and early because I plan to spend a bit of time in Cambridge not just for filming but to have a, a genuine sort of look around and see what's what And then there's no signs up here for this part, so this is just maybe general parking. Oh, I've done a skydive recently, but there's something about standing on a ledge high up that makes my belly go. So yeah, you can see right into the building up there. I wonder if that's the top brass. Here we go. Hello, buddy. You okay? I'm alright, mate. How are you? What are you up to? Pardon? What are you up to? What are you up to? Uh, I'm asking you what you're doing. You're on police premises. I'm a. Uh, do you mind identifying yourself from the police? Yeah, Sergeant 330 Ison. Uh, hiya, Sergeant. What's your name? Uh, Sergeant Ison. Is uh, Ison? Yes. Yeah, I'm pronouncing that properly. Okay. You're based out of here, yeah? Yeah. What What are you doing on the site, sir? Uh, I'm just being nosy, to be honest. Just having a look around, yeah. Okay. Um, you're aware you can film no issues, but yeah. you can't be on the site in the car park? Yeah, I've already been on the car park for quite some time. i have pretty much done. I just came up to the top level to have a look around. Okay, and well, I'm, I'm going to ask you down. to leave and I'm going to need to escort you off the site. Are you? Are you yes. going to put your hands on me, Sergeant? No, not at no. all. No, so if I decline your offer, then what? Is there no lift here? How's your day going anyway? Yeah, that's coming out to me. Should we tell you when you're wanting to? Hey, yeah. Oh, very polite. With a gent who appears to be an auditor on the um, top floor of the car park. Very presumptive of you. Sorry, mate, do you mind identifying yourself for me, please? 
Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Why? It's part of your court of practice. So. Sergeant 68 Andy Waters. Awesome. Why are you in our car park, which is private property? I didn't know it was private property. You ignored you, all the signs then, didn't you? What you signs did I ignore? At the bottom of the map where you walked up and you walked past them. What past what signs since private you property? Past past the signs the 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 yeah, because I, I, I can assure you, listen, I don't know why you've been so aggressive and hostile. I'm being very polite. Well, he's been very rude. So, like, as I say, um, there's no need for it, you know? I'll well, be you, very you polite to you. Well, it's publicly funded, my friend, so I'm well entitled to come and have a look at it. But as I say, I'm being very polite to you. There's no need to come up with a hostility, you know? And you're a sergeant as well, you should know better. For goodness sake. I was being hostile to you. You said you were being rude and you are being hostile the way you're talking to me. I'm not being rude to you. You were being rude. I said, well, well, go and deal with it then. I never asked you to come and talk to me. Well, I don't I? I don't need your permission. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Private Pardon? Private property. Private, so private property. Who funds it, Sergeant? Surely you should know better by that. Public property. Well, I do as well, then, because I'm a taxpayer. No, you rebate the tax. What are you talking about? You get paid at the tax first. You can't pay tax on tax that you're getting paid from. It's impossible. You know? So let's have a look at this sign that you says was private property that I ignored apparently and I'll accept your apology if it's not there Sorry mate, do you mind identifying yourself please? I'm calling number 18 And your name? Fine now. No, three points of identification You understand that's part of your code of practice, yeah? So, let's see where does it say private property? Huh? Where does it say private property, Sergeant? Parkside Police Station. No, 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 no. You said it says private property. I, I wasn't supposed to be here. Where does it say private property? So I'll accept your apology and I'll let you go back about your way. It doesn't say private property. I'll accept your apology. I said fine. It doesn't say private property. So I'll accept your apology. Go back to work. I'll accept your apology. Go back to work. Please leave the area then. Leave the area? Yeah. I'm in a public place, you can't make me leave anywhere. Am I being detained? Making... No, I'm not detained. Well, I'm, I'm free I'm to go, I'm free to, to stay. Leave the police station car park area. I'm, am I in the car park? Yes. You're in the entrance of it currently. I'm, yes. on, I'm on the public. No, that's the public footpath over there, sir. No, I'll go wherever I want, thank you very much. No, you won't go wherever you want. Or what? That's the public footpath. This is the entrance to the private the police car park. Okay. As the, all the signage. The private Please. police car park that there is no signage for. You've made yourself look a right idiot today, you know, Sergeant. You've made yourself look a fool. You know, go back to work, please. Just go back to work. You're not going to get a dignity to apologise for your stupid mistake. You absolute buffoon. Oh, an absolute carry on. Not even got the decency to apologise for your stupidity. Absolute moronic fool. Well, made to look a right plonker. Anyway, I'm going to go down to reception and I'll go back when they've all disappeared. Absolute moron. He's made himself look a right idiot. Jesus, it's all popping off in Cambridge today, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't expect it, to be honest. I thought they'd actually been best behaved. I thought they'd been okay. Normally the issue, normally the issue is with the, the mayor, but Jesus Christ, I don't think Cambridge police would, uh, would have been so moronic. Hey, uh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry mate, just just out of interest, where do you go to collect lost property here? Um, up on my back side. Round the back? Yeah. Alright, thanks. <laughs> he don't know what he's just done. So I'm going to go round the back. Crime and property. It's 
and here somewhere Um, property. No public access in there. I've already been down here. So how about I'm gonna wait and see if someone comes out and ask them, is that it in there? Let's find out. Yeah. Who do I speak to about lost property? I'm afraid they're not open today. Are they not? No. Oh, I need my lost property. No, they're, they're not open and they won't be open now until possibly Monday or Tuesday. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. That's all right. We're on your the cleaners. But yeah, no, you're all right, love. I appreciate your time. You guys have a nice day, yeah? Yeah, listen, you do a great job. Like, it says you do have a great job. Very important job. So, yeah, 100%. Not just the cleaners. Yeah. Everybody forgets a little man, you know, the, the, the people that come and do the graft day in, day out. So that's a shame. I wanted to find out about lost property. No, I'm not going to find out about lost property. ladies are hanging back, back there. I'm smoking, yeah. Hiding in there for very strange. Okay, I'm fine. I'm not your pal, though. You can, ad you can address me as sir. I'm not your pal. Okay, sir. What were you doing, sir? Nothing. I don't ask for anything. Right. Okay. Yeah, likewise. I don't want to be nice. Yeah, pal. Yeah, mate. Well, hold on a minute. I one of your soldiers come out barking at me. Anyway, right. Uh, pal. Yeah, pal. I'm not your pal, mate. Because I know for a fact that the earliest opportunity, if you had good reason, you try and stitch me up. So, tailgating prohibited, it says, yeah? Police vehicle only here. And then there's nothing else there. Let's go, let's carry on up here. I'm scared there's going to be some scuttling over my feet. <laughs> Chest freezer. Look at all this stuff. Some police bike there, look. The gas canisters, that's not even, that is locked up. We've got all like proper hardware back here. Uh, gardening equipment and chainsaws and whatever else. <laughs> Dev plane. Dev plane. That one. Divisional. I'm assuming that stands for divisional plane clothes. And this one. Detective Inspector, now what I'm wondering is, I know that these little registration plate things, if that's what they are, let's have a look. If that's what they look like. Yeah, they are. The little registration plates um, they've, they've had made up for, um, for signage for their parking spots, but I know they don't come cheap. But yeah, they don't, they're not free. <laughs> and if, obviously, I, I don't, I wouldn't imagine you can get like, um, Sort of gift ones that aren't meant for vehicles. Um, the ones that are actually for vehicles can be pretty expensive. So, let's say, um, I went back into the car park just because I know some of you guys are going to be like, now you followed them out, you know. Um, 
yada 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 I've, I've had that before where to be fair these have been right you know and, and normally you'll hear me say things along the line of I'll leave off my own accord I'll leave when I'm ready and um, and that way if they want to remove me they can uh, they can put their hands on me and and do it that way um, so yeah it's uh, You alright? Yeah. Uh, what time is your proper, uh, lost property? It's not property? open on a Friday. What? It's not open on a Friday. It's not open on a Friday. It's Tuesday to Thursday. What hours? Sorry? What hours? What time? Uh, 9 till 3.30. Awesome. Thanks for that. So I was, you know, who's Lord Butler? Right Honourable. Saffron Walden. Opened this building for the mid Anglia Police Authority, 1970. I thought that said Pinnock there. Maybe they've just abbreviated it. Photography, not crime. Just to make it as simplistic for people as possible. Oh, oh I'm Matt. I'm Matt. Has he got his seatbelt on? He's not got a seatbelt on. Is he? Oh, I get his seatbelt on. So I don't look like it. But I can't. I can't um, prove it. I ain't got a clear image 100%, but it certainly doesn't look like he had his seatbelt on. Which I think on emergency calls, she's not got her seatbelt on. She's tucked it under her arm. What's going on? So let's go and speak to these lovely people. They've been okay actually in this reception. Hey, uh, yeah, I've just I've got a complaint um, in relation to a couple of officers that I've seen driving in and out the car park without a seatbelt on. Right, okay. So I need to know who I speak to about that. I can message the duty sergeant, what time they leave? Yeah, please. They've literally, one's just pulled in, one's just left. Right. Um, but twice, the driver had his seatbelt on, the passenger, pardon? You get the registration yeah, I've got it on film, I don't have it at hand though. So no seatbelt on, yeah? No seatbelt. Well, the driver coming out and the, the courser coming out had his seatbelt on, the female passenger didn't. Mm -hmm. The car going in, the male driver didn't have his seatbelt on. Right, well, I'll message the duty sergeant, I'll let him right, know. Right, I need a log number though, a lot of reference number, so that I can follow up at a later time. No, I can't, I'm not creating an incident for that, I'll message the duty sergeant. You're not creating it, but I'm reporting, and, and, and I'm reporting a crime actually, it's, it's a crime. Do you want to take a seat, I'll see if I can get someone to Yeah, go for it, why not, thank you. I'm not going to take a seat, I'm going to hang about, but... Photographic evidence of it, so I damn well better deal with it because yeah. Hey, uh, just tell that lady not to bother. I'm going to make my complaint online. Yeah, um, that's right. We need to hear back from the duty sergeant. Unfortunately, yeah. there's no one able to come down at the moment. Right. Okay. Uh, they are yeah. Busy, but there is an exemption for with police officers in seatbelts. Yeah, but that's um, when they're on an emergency call, not. When they're driving in a bit of car park without yeah, the so blue lights on. Yeah, so you say that you obviously have been removed for filming around there. Oh, I wasn't so removed. I left up my own free will. Yeah, then I went back in. There is an exemption for. But there's no. So I know the exemption you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so the exemption would be if they were um, on an emergency call, they had the lights on or something like that, not driving in a car park, like 100%. Well, if you do want to make a complaint, you can no. obviously go online and do that. Yeah, well, who was the sergeant you spoke to? Can you ask? So, so I can get their details. Because he's sadly misinformed. Yeah, that's fine. 
Who was the sergeant you spoke to, sorry? I spoke to a couple of sergeants. Yep. Sergeants. They said there's no one to speak to you right now. That's fine, I can do that online. The then I went back in and I wasn't removed. Pardon? Yeah, you've been in the multi storage. I was, yeah. I was filming all the cars. Okay. Why is that why is that unacceptable? Because obviously when you go in there you don't want to be identified our cars being online. But how do you think you can be identified from filming a car? Obviously the registration, anyone can look it up. Right, but what information can you get from a car's registration? Do you know? You can get the owner, you can get the owner's details. No you can't. No. You can. No. You can. no, she that, I'm sorry, but you can't. You can only get the MOT status and the tax status of a vehicle's registration. Well, I don't like the idea of that's a fact. You can get the owner's details, you can get the owner's registration, you can get the owner's details, 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 you can get it's not different, it's yeah, a dash cam. This, this you don't want your car thing. recorded. Somebody's got a dash cam, they're recording this your car, it's the same thing. This is our workplace. Right. Uh, and it's personal, they're not police cars, they're personal cars right. that belong to staff members. But you know that the registration plate, the whole purpose of a registration plate is that it's for public information, you know that, so that you can be caught, yeah, identified for speaking. Workplace, yeah. It's different if it's just out and about in public, but right. it's in somebody's workplace, that's obviously. A bit of a it's not well. It's, it's not yeah. because you, like the people that work here are public servants. Are funded for by the taxpayer, so you should have a reasonable expectation it's that you'd come under. Car park for the staff. It's right. Not, it's not. A, it's not an open car park for the public. But the argument yeah. still stands. So you, you're funded for by the taxpayer. So there's a reasonable expectation that you should come under scrutiny from the taxpayer, yeah. and they would want to see how the tax money is spent. Able to come down and speak to you anyway today. Sorry. Yeah. Who was the sergeant you spoke to? I just need the name, please. No, I'm just a couple of duty sergeants that are on. And who are they? No. So you're, you're, refu you're refusing to tell me who the sergeant was you spoke to? No, they just said to tell you that you've been spoken to already and you need to leave. I need to leave? It's a public place. You can't uh, like you can't make me leave from a public place. If you're being difficult, then we can get you to leave. I'm not being difficult. Just because I'm not agreeing with you doesn't mean... At the moment you're not, but obviously okay. continue to be difficult. But continue, so that would insinuate that I'm currently being difficult. Just because I'm disagreeing with you on a few points doesn't mean to say that I'm being difficult. No, We're allowed I'm to just disagree. Out that we can get you, removed, you can get me removed. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Uh, I can guarantee you that you probably could do that, yeah. But what will happen is you'll get pulled in um, for for uh, internal affairs investigation, and um, the people that the people that remove me from the police station will get pulled in for an internal affairs against investigation. And I will take you to civil court and I will yeah, sue you for every penny that I can get. Leave, Pardon? We're asking you politely to leave. You yeah. asked us a question, we've yeah. given you the answer. Yeah. No, no, you've not given me the answer. I've asked who the sergeant was that told you the I've information in relation to the seatbelt. The because it's really important because if the sergeant doesn't know the correct uh, policies or the laws, the then, know, then it, well, he would know it, the laws. It, well, unfortunately, they don't. You, you, the you seem to think that I can be removed from a public place. I think I, I think you you're sadly misinformed and maybe a little bit naive. <laughs> I feel sorry for you a little bit because I do this a lot, unfortunately, yeah. and um, and invariably. I'm not saying personally I know the laws. I'm saying I'm, I'm sure he knows the laws. Yeah, but if, if that's what you're saying, it I would appear it doesn't, unfortunately. But it's fine, okay? And um, because what's going to happen is I'll do that online, and I am going to lodge a formal complaint as okay, well yeah, because I'm entitled to, to know. To do this information yeah. um, and I won't be threatened out of public building either and um, so I will have to complain yeah. about yourself as well despite how polite you've been about it but um, I'm not going to be threatened to be removed from a public I place. Say, I didn't, I said we would, you said you, you can't be removed, I said if you continue to be difficult then you can't get removed. But you if you insinuate that, that, that I've been removed. difficult and I'm just trying to ascertain some, some information um, so it's a shame really. What well, carry on, what well, carry on. Yeah, Lucy, yeah. I'm to remove me from a public place, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely insane. I've got two voluntaries. I've got one at 11.30 and one at 12. Oh, okay, that's what you're doing. Um, so, Mates can be deposited here without fear of prosecution. Okay. I'm going to have that bins. Yeah, my 12 o'clock is um, Derbyshire. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, they are switched in. Right, so, yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to carry on. Oh, an absolute carry on.
So, that's Cambridgeshire Police. Apparently there is an exemption that police officers do not have to wear a seatbelt um, at all, by the sounds of things, by the duty sergeant. So, it's what, half past eleven? Friday the 30th of June. Some of you laugh, so normally I try and edit this out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to edit this part out. But normally I edit it out, but it's just for my reference. Um, for, for later on, so when I'm reviewing my footage and I'm making my thermal complaints, I can pinpoint exactly what the time is. Um, and then obviously, it might be a few days before I end up editing this footage. And I always do the complaints in conjunction with editing it, it just works out easier. Um, so, so yeah, that's literally just for my reference, so that when I do file my complaint, I can be as specific as possible. So there can't be any sort of doubt as to who it was I spoke to if I was unable to identify those individuals. Um, but yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. You think that it get owner's details from a registration plate. Wind. Yeah. So, that has been Parkside Police Station in Cambridge, ladies and gentlemen. How do you think they've got on? Failed miserably. Absolutely terrible. Shocking attitude by the sergeant. Um, I tried to be as as polite as possible. I even asked him how their day was, said hello to the other guy. They're just very rude, very abrasive, not really want to engage in a civil conversation and then seem to think that that's okay, that they weren't being rude. Madness! And then like, I see two police officers, potentially two police officers, one definitely who wasn't, clearly wasn't wearing a seatbelt and uh, when I go to make a complaint, I say there's an exception. Yeah, there is an exception. Um, but I don't think that exception is just generally driving about. You know, I feel like that's crazy. Um, so there will be sort of formal complaint going in in relation to this one, guys. Um, it's not really a good look from for Cambridgeshire Police Constabulary, as, as it says there. Um, but yeah, not great at all. Not done well, and I'm, I'm, I am a bit disappointed. I thought they were going to be okay here. Sadly, naive I was. So. I'm going to leave it at that, I'm going to move on and uh, yeah I look forward to reading your comments on this one if you have enjoyed this video guys please like it, feel free to share it don't forget to pop down hit that subscribe button and uh, and yeah I'll see you all soon, bye bye